Yo, what up? So this is episode one of a vlog. A lot of people were telling me to vlog and didn't really want to because there's a lot of editing and a lot of time put into it. But I guess it's a kind of a good idea to give you a little bit of insight on my day-to-day -day things and just tips and tricks and stuff. So this is my lovely house. You know, it's a bit messy. Um, but yeah, so you've got the dogs, Buddy and Yuffie. Look how cute she is. Hi, Yuffie. Also, some merch. Relapse Fitness, Woo. got the hoodies too, with Relapse Fitness and the Gorilla. So the Gorilla fucking matches my hands hat, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna go to the gym and train a back and buys. Yeah, so we're gonna get fucking huge. All right, so let's go. So yeah, first vlog, man. I don't expect too much from it. Um, I, I guess if it helps one person at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. That's all that matters, to be honest. I'm not really looking to... Left. left? Oh shit. I'm not looking to really blow it up or anything, you know? If, um, I think it's time to kind of just show a little bit of insight, you know? I mean, I've been putting myself on these social media platforms quite a bit, and fuck, it's exciting, man, because like, in one month from now, it's gonna be one year since I've started Relapse. I've been at Relapse for a year, uh, nearly a year, so last April. Fuck, time flies there, yeah, Robin. So, well, that's a really big achievement in itself because a lot of people fell in their first year. So I've made it, I've built it up to a kind of comfortable um, situation or business. I wouldn't say it's the best in the world, but it, it I can live from it, you know, full time. So that's all right. Okay, quick. Are you recording? Is this recording still? So I'm just parking here. There's no parking spots. So there he goes, off and off and off. How do I use this camera? What up? So, yeah, as I was saying, with Relapse. Um, I don't know, it's been a pretty fucking epic journey. I have to say. Like, I've learned a lot about myself, a lot of learned a lot about business too. Uh, and I'm still fucking learning every single day. You know, so everyone starts somewhere. Yeah, so even if you guys want some business tips and just the lifestyle too, I'll be more than happy to kind of share a little bit on what goes behind the scenes and stuff because if I can, I know there's a lot of people in this day and age that really do want to kind of open their own business and stuff, but a lot of people lack the strategies or lack the commitment or the even the mindset hacks to in order for you to kind of just become that person that's going to build a self-sustaining business in these vlogs. So I'm just kind of going on a whim. Um, and yeah, like if you guys learn something from it, then you learn something from me. If you don't and you think I'm a fucking idiot, then so be it. I don't really give a shit. You know, I'm just doing me. Yeah. And I'm going to share a lot, a lot later about who I am as a person and just what things I go through and the struggles. Like I'm a fucking open book and I'm going to be um, as transparent as possible with you guys. Just to show you fucking everything behind the scenes, pull the curtains back. Um, just showing you that I'm exactly like you guys and I have problems, struggles every single fucking day. I am not perfect whatsoever. I have my poisons, yeah? Um, as everyone else does. So, and I'm not afraid of them because that makes me who I am. And it just makes, it molds me into a better person and a stronger person. Yeah, so I'm fucking very keen to show you guys everything. So Robin's back and I was just telling him how I think I might um, actually enjoy vlogging because I feel like because I was just rambling on before when he was at, when he was buying his vape juice it kind of just me talking and preaching this shit just really does consolidate in my mind that I need to become this person that I'm just always talking about because I don't want to be fake at the end of the day you know like I'm a fucking coach and I say all this shit to motivate my clients and stuff and it's fucking very fake if I don't live and breathe this stuff at the same time yeah so just me reiterating it to you guys because in these vlogs, I wanted my intention to inspire you and motivate you, yeah? So me saying it all the time, is just reaffirming in my head that this is the person I need to become each and every single day. But with that being said, I am not a perfect person. I'm not a high performance person every single fucking day, yeah? But I have my priorities in order, I have my goals aligned and I just need to um, just remain focused, you know? But it's okay to slip here and there and just I don't know, we're humans at the end of the day, yeah? Not everyone is gonna have great days every single fucking day. Um, and it's perfectly normal, but you just have to accept that and be aware of that, that it's okay. And that you just, it's not about falling down, it's about getting back up and 
just remaining focused on your goals and remaining driven and just remembering why you wanted to hit your goals in the first place, yeah? So yeah, I'm looking forward to these vlogs. Um, even if no one fucking watches, I don't really care. It's really good for me because I get to kind of journal everything too and just talk about whatever I want to talk about in a more casual way, uh, more conversational way. And we're just gonna go to the gym. So we're pulling up into my home, Derham at Braybrook. All right, so we're doing back and buys. Um, I usually follow a powerlifting split, but for today it's an accessory day because I am bulking up for IMBA, trying to bulk up. Yeah, so we're gonna start off with some lat pull downs. Okay, just to warm up the lats. All right, so let's go. All right, uh, so we did around like two, three warm up sets. Lats kind of feeling a little bit pumped up, so I'm gonna do a working set essentially. So we're gonna aim for around 10, 12 reps. 12 reps if light, and 10 reps if I fail at 10, it's fine. The 10, 12 reps, yeah? Are you recording this? <laughs> All right, so just a little tip, that pull downs, yeah? Um, a lot of people, they have fucking, they flare out their elbows a lot, yeah? You're not gonna really target your lats by that, doing that. So when I grab the bar, I like to tuck in my elbows a little bit, so it's more like that. That's a more optimal position for your lats to contract, yeah? More so than out here. So I'll show you. Here and then elbows in a little bit and bring it to your upper chest. Wow, that's some big boy weight, man. God damn, I'm tired. But yeah, 150. It's not. It doesn't say it, but it's 150. So, all right, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that, yeah. Not out here. Tuck your elbows in. Ow! <laughs> tuck, your, <laughs> tuck your elbows in a little bit. Yeah. All right, that's pretty much it. All right, so we're gonna do Baba right now. Maybe three sets of 10 to 12 at the same time. Yeah, so I got 60 kilo on the bar. So conventional stance. Arms to the side. Lift it up like a deadlift. Lean your torso forward. Drive elbows back. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Fuck me, man, that's heavy. I think 60 kilos. Bro, I'm fucking tired, as. <laughs> so, with rest times, because we're fucking hungry, we're, I'm speeding through this workout. It's not optimal, though. Rest times, I would always recommend rest as long as you need to, to be able to do the same weight you did in the last set, to the best of your ability, yeah? It's all about progressive overload and actually depleting your muscles and stressing it to the point where it's, it tears and it rebuilds and gets bigger, yeah? So, if you're, you have to lift heavy as fuck weight to insinuate, to incite growth within your muscle, yeah? So, rest times maybe two, three minutes, four minutes maybe, it doesn't really matter, but as long as you're just lifting heavy weight, yeah? Every time, more heavy weight every time. For me, like, I know a lot of shit like in the practical terms, when you, when you go really in depth, man, and I'm not, I'm not scared to admit this, I'm not afraid to admit that, I don't know too much about the body. There's a lot I don't know about, yeah? But what I do know has worked out well for me and my clients so far. So, always lots to fucking learn, man. The body is a confusing thing. Very confusing process. But yeah, cable rows now. Same thing, three, 10 to 12. Three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Shoulders forward. Squeeze, shoulder blades, all the way back. Just like that. All right, so we just finished Cobra Rose. Fuck, took a lot out of me. Um, so now we're gonna do something for the lower lats. Straight arm pull down. If you need to do it with a straight bar, we can do it with ropes. I like to do it with the ropes. I don't know, I just feel uh, with the ropes, I can pull back farther, uh, further, so I get a deeper uh, contraction, yeah? So what I do, lean my torso down, let it stretch, my lats. And then as I bring ropes up, 
I propel my body a little bit forward, my chest forward. I feel it in my lower lats. Essentially what I'm doing is like a mini row. Instead of going like that, I'm more going like that. It's not exactly straight, because I feel a lot more in triceps when I do it straight. It's like that. We're done, so we don't, we're not going to do arms because we're really fucking hungry, we haven't eaten today. Um, but the thing is with back movements too, with the primary movements or the movers on back exercise are obviously our lats, our traps and our rhomboids, but our secondary muscles are our biceps, yeah? So it's not alright if we skip arms for today or biceps for today, I'll continue it again another day. But yeah, so my biceps are still getting worked while I'm doing the back movements, yeah? So pretty much it. That concludes the back session. Really simple, very, very simple back workout and hits all angles. And you don't really need more than that, to be honest. The best kind of program is really simply like, it's a really simple program at the end of the day. Just follow a simple program for a long enough time and just get better and better and better and better. It's more better tough than actually changing programs all the fucking time, yeah? Pick one, stick for it, at least four to eight weeks, maybe and just get better at those exercises and then you'll see your lagging body parts and then you can do different exercises in your next program to target those weak body parts, yeah? So yeah, all right. I'm trying to find parking, man. Fuck, I'm really bad at finding parking. Fuck. It's full raging before. Yeah. I get raid rage easily, man. But I feel like in, this, in these vlogs, I should just be me, man. Like, I'm pretty vulgar at times. <laughs> so Robin would know, you know. I live with it every day, bro. So, it doesn't fuck it, man. Who cares? I'm just being me. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is, you know? At the end of the day, you do you. People will judge you, regardless. And is that parking? It's not parking. It's not fucking gone. Oh, yes. Is it gone? Yeah, fuck yeah, bruh. Score, man. So, here comes the ultimate test of your driving skills. The parallel parking. Can Ryan of Relapse Fitness conquer his feet? What do you mean I fucked it, mate? I'm the fucking best, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? You fucking doubted me, yeah? Don't doubt me again. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go to Goro, um, get a bowl of pho. Nah, 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 <laughs> I'm really bad with my arm um, bit, guys. So, yeah. In lovely sunshine. What are you gonna get, Robin? What? Bubba way. Man, fuck, man, I should get BBH2A. Eh? Oh, I don't know, bro. I'll just do any mini money, mo. When I mean, when I see the menu, all good. Yeah. Chow down. What? Something chow down. I don't know my meat yet, bro. Let me try, let me taste the soup. So fucking keen. Oh, BBH is here, you know? This is some ASMR shit. Because the mic's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I won't do it too much because it's a bit disturbing. But fuck, it's pretty good, eh? But yeah, um, I just want to fucking eat, yeah? So, the camera away. Alright. Just finished eating. Fuck, a good meal, yeah? Yeah. Pretty good meal. So, um, we're gonna go back home and just do some work. I'll show you a little bit of insight on how my business kind of runs. Um, but yeah, for you those who don't know, I'm a fitness coach, yeah? So I run that business full time. Um, and it's fucking really, really fun because it's, you just get to help a lot of people uh, reach their fitness goals, not only physically, but mentally too. 
And it's one of the biggest things that I'm gonna push this year, that I don't just fucking get people fit, get them shredded or whatever that may be, yeah? I take them through a process that unveils that they can become the best possible version of themselves, yeah? And it's the most important thing. And that's something I've learned on my discovery. Um, just fucking overcoming adversities and shit. It's been really sick. So even Robin's kind of had some experience with that. So yeah, this is where the magic happens. Basically my office, as you can see. Massive inspiration of mine, Conor McGregor, got him tattooed also on me. <laughs> you know, so got the whiteboards here. Really good to kind of just write your goals down and stuff and actually just have everything fucking there. I've got this here because there's too many muscles in the body and sometimes I forget. But yeah, so this is where I basically run my business full time. I'm just finishing off some programming for my clients. I check, in, check up with them on a consistent basis to make sure everything is moving right, how they're feeling, how they're responding. But yeah, like running a business for the past year has been a massive thing in terms of growth and also a really, really rewarding journey. You know, I've learned so much about myself. And the thing is too though, I want you guys to realize that running your own business takes a lot of fucking work. And a lot, a lot of people say this, but you don't realize how much work you need to do until you actually put your foot in the door, you know? There's gonna be countless hours where you can't even hang out with your friends. You're gonna be sacrificing so much fucking freedom at the very start. Um, and just, yeah, putting a lot of, um, just a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of stress and all that stuff. And especially if you wanna live off this business full time, yeah? So that's kind of the goal for most people who wanna run their own business. They wanna be their own boss and they wanna live off it ultimately. But to get to that stage, to create from something like nothing to something that you can live off is very fucking hard, you know? Um, so yeah, don't really be fooled by all these um, Instagram entrepreneurs who live the laptop last lifestyle and have like Lamborghinis and shit because fuck man, it's, it's a lot of fucking work, you know? So yeah, I've learned so much. Um, it's been basically nearly a year in relapse. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that ends off the first vlog. So if you guys have any, I guess, topics that I want to, like you guys want me to cover, such as fitness, mental health, the business, I'll be more than happy to share that all. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So vlog one's done. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, motherfuckers. Peace out.